For the last year, the Corpus Christi Museum of Science and History has been under the care of the nonprofit group Friends of the Museum. And while they've made some upgrades, they say they're not finished yet. Sunrise reporter Chelsea Torres is at the museum and joins us now live this morning. So Chelsea, give us an update. What's going on over there? Good morning, Mike. Well, museums across the country have really gone from that stand and read kind of style to more interactive type model that the entire family can enjoy. And the Corpus Christi Science and History Museum says they've already incorporated a bunch of different interactive styles to their older exhibits, and they still have a lot more on the way. The not-for-profit group Friends of the Museum are finding ways to make the museum fun for all ages. We're looking at more interactivity, more group activity, things that you do together, more discovery. A different approach than the 70s museum that used to be. CEO and President Carol Retmeyer says they have plans for another $10 million in additions and remodels, like adding virtual reality to the Science Center and incorporating computer models for older exhibits. We will be adding interactivity to them, so there'll be touch screens and uh, something called Pepper's Ghost where uh, items pop up and you can see different information and uh, you can interact with the birds and the animals that are in these dioramas. Some more additions will be a 4D theater where the seats shake and move, a musical garden, interactive statues to tell the stories of the exhibits, and incorporating a cell phone tour for the out-of-country visitors. Rep Meyer says they are looking to add a separate part of the museum, specifically for the younger crowd. Looking to add a science and math-based preschool, as well as a children's museum as bump outs or build out to the museum and we're in the investigative stage right now and uh, to see how we can make that happen. Rep Meyer believes as generations change over time, so does telling the story of science and history. The question is how do we continue to keep that engagement? What is it that the community here wants and are we delivering it? Now the museum will have two big Halloween bashes this weekend. Another way that the friends of the museum have really tried to bring in programs for the entire family to enjoy. They'll have an event on Saturday for the younger kids and then an older event on Sunday. Everything will be equipped with a maze as well as free hot dogs for the entire weekend. Mike. All right. Thank you for that, Chelsea.